That's what it is. It's your girl Cadillac. Yes, I'm the Cadillac. The Cadillac. I'm Cadillac Dixon. Yeah, the Cadillac Dixon. <laughs> the draw my life prison wife. I'm the legally blind artist. I'm the rapper. Girl, do I know my own intro? <laughs> I'm the legally by artist rapping and painting for justice, hoping to see justice before all face to black. Girl, I don't even know what's wrong with me. <laughs> my body is so tight. Like, my muscles are hurting. I thought it was because we went skating, but I'm like, why would I hurt days and days later after skating? I don't know. My knees hurting, my um thighs. I don't know what type of exercise I've been doing, but I woke up hurting. Um, I don't know if it was due to possibly to, you know, when you get um, a deep adjustment at the chiropractor, which I don't, it didn't feel like it was a deep adjustment, but sometimes that causes you to have pain afterward. But we are on our way out. Um, we're going to go to Jeremiah's Italian Ice. My little nephew um, says that um, Jeremiah's um, has a new limited time flavors um line of flavors so that's where we're gonna head to try a couple of those flavors but before we do i found something remember i told you guys i did not even realize i was on my lunch break and i was drawing miss neek i was working on the second session of drawing miss neek for um she's she's on youtube she's on instagram she's on facebook this girl is popping. She got children's storybooks. She got some of everything. And she's very inspirational. She actually talks about a lot of different issues as well. And she just keeps it all the way real, right, y'all? So as I was working on her for Project Reach the World, I had mentioned, and I did not know when I until I mentioned that, that Project Reach the World was um, started in 2005 after I met Mr. Life Jennings. Before I met him, I dreamed I met him. Like he came to me in my dreams, girl. <laughs> but when I said that Project Reach the World started in 2005, it got me counting. And I did not realize that my Project Reach the World is 18 years old. It has been 18 years old, eight, 18 years old, 18 years since I started project reach the world isn't that crazy and it's almost going to be 17 years since i started actually fully um going after a rap career man do time fly but i want to show you how project reach the world actually started i got one of my first project reach the world so let me show you this okay so this this is how it started just like this this is an envelope that I would make, cardboard on the back. Um, it would I would buy plastic. Now this plastic is the plastic that you put on your seats. You remember your grandmama couch had that plastic, girl? <laughs> well, my grandmama couch did. And I would draw whoever I'm going to see or attempting to get this project reach the world to. I would draw them. And then I would, um, so this is, this is crazy in my chicken scratch handwriting, please forward to sham. So this is baby sham project reach the world. So I would give that to whatever promoters I can get in touch with whoever that I seen that, um, that's my dad working on the roof y'all. Um, but whoever I seen that was working with like with the staff lanyards or whatever whether it was a dj whether it was the radio station it was several different avenues of how i would get my artwork to um the famous person so let's girl this is like a time capsule let's open this up so evidently this is one that i did not get to baby sham so you know project reached the world was a hit or miss sometimes it worked sometimes it didn't hold on so this tape ain't been open since 18 years ago. Okay, we got it open, so let's pull it out. Dang, ain't nothing easy. Okay, but you know what? It's nothing in it. There's just a sketch. Baby sham. So the way that it's packaged, it would have my demo. Like, this would be the front. You would see this. I would send this in the mail too. So when you send it in the mail, 
the only thing you're going to see is this artwork. And then I would address it like there and there where my hand is. I got my address. So I would address it. So when it goes in the mail, you're definitely going to see this artwork because I was like, so what if how what is going to make my mail stand out over everybody else mail? Nothing is a package. So I started drawing. I got that from, you know, back in the day, prison wise. Do y'all remember, I say I've been a prison wife that long, that I used to receive mail that had drawings and artwork all over the envelope. It was so beautiful. You couldn't wait to open it. But later, they stopped allowing them to draw on the envelopes. But, like, I got that idea from that. So, when you see in the mail, you're like, oh, my gosh. Okay, so what's that? Let me open it. And once you open it, my demo would be inside there. And I would have a bio saying what I'm trying to do, my mission, everything. So that was Project Reach the World. Girl, that's crazy. This is how it started. Yep, just as drawings. But now I got another segment of Project Reach the World. By 2013, it, it started going from being hand drawn to being t-shirts now the reason i ended up making it into a t-shirt because at first it was so crazy i had this idea i was like yeah the artwork is okay but it's kind of hard dealing with paper and stuff like that and trying to give it to a person like that's weird so i had an idea which is crazy i said what if i make I, I thought about it. I was like, every rapper, every artist that I go see has a towel. I even got Lauren Hill's towel. She threw me her towel after I gave her my project Reach the World. And then two guys went to fight over it, but then the guy that won handed it to me because he was like, that is specifically, she meant that for you. Ain't nobody else going to take that towel. <laughs> so Miss Lauren Hill wiped the face off and threw me that towel, and then the guys went to fight or whatever, girl. So I was thinking, every famous person has a towel. I called it a pimp towel. <laughs> I was like, what if I start designing these towels that they would love to have? And I was like, well, what would you want on the towel? I'm like, hold on. Everybody loves themselves. People love themselves. So why don't I make, find some type of way to put them on a towel? Now, that didn't work. But what I ended up doing was learning how to put people on T-shirts. And when I started painting these grand T-shirts of the people, that definitely caught their attention. In a T-shirt, you could hold it up. You could stretch it out and hold it up wide. Um, you can ball it up. That was the greatest part. I could ball the T-shirt up and throw it as many times I have thrown it up on stage. Or I try to hold it up and I have people next to me in the audience like, girl, give me that. You ain't holding that up high enough. And they'll hold it up and you get this dude that can throw, got that throwing arm, and he'll ball it up and boom, throw it up on the stage. That's how Lauren Hill had got my artwork throwing it up on the stage. Um, it's several other people, but that became more um, effective, the t-shirt. So I also found a t-shirt, Project Reach the World, that I started in 2013 um, slash 2014-ish um, when I started doing them for my prison wives. I was trying to raise money like I am still, <laughs> raise money for Marcello's legal defense and stuff like that. Girl, I've been working and grinding for a long time. But what also, I was like, who else would support me but another prison wife that knows where I'm coming from? Oh, I'm about to run out of time. So I had the idea that if we, I had the imagination being at, um, I started out with caricatures of the prison wives and their loved ones. And then that ended up being, um, it, and the caricature started, if you watched and shared some of my videos when my YouTube first started, that I would make you a caricature of you and your loved one. That's how I got my first 20 subscribers on this channel, but I'm sure they left once I came back. Um, and then that evolved into my hand-painted shirts when I started trying to raise money. So I'm about to run out of time in this, but I can at least show you this. 
This was a prison wife that submitted to me a picture of her and her loved one. I guess this is pre-incarceration. And um, I drew, I painted it for her. Isn't that cute? This project reached the world 2013 with my prison wives. So that's prison wife edition. And now we're doing YouTube edition.